lot of them pick scissors. Interesting. Ooh, Persona. Okay, okay. Mm, can discard this draw trigger. We're going first. Okay, this hand's a lot weaker compared to the other hands we've had before, though. We're gonna end. Ketter. Grade 1. Oh, we're against Bastion. Jeez. People, I guess, uh... Alright, let me reread Maple here. When your grade 3 or grade of Vanguard is placed during the right phase. Let's see. Boop. Actually, I'm gonna no guard this. Yeah. Yeah, it should apply. Yeah, it should apply. I think I discard crit too. Yeah, I think I discard crit as well. Only counter by Vermilion? If Vermilion actually touches your drop zone, then yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> so wild, man. Look at this. Look at this board, bro. Wait, Vermillion biting from field or in drop? It could be either. Depends. I haven't read Vermillion yet. I'll read it in a second for you. Narakami tends to lend itself more to binding cards from uh, from the board than the drop zone. But uh, that design aspect has changed a lot in recent memory. Okay, let's crit. Power goes here. That, that now hits for 23. So you need to guard with 20k shield to be able to stop it. Very aggressive turn from us. Well, now they can guard. They can guard with 15k. Makes them 33. Or they can guard with 10k shield. Really, he puts himself to three, huh? And does Gramphia care about what grade your opponent's on right now? It does not care. That is... That is hilarious. Of course. <laughs> of course, it's Alden. Of course. <laughs> why? Why wouldn't it be an Alden? <laughs> so for the people at home, they use a skill to call the card from the top of their deck, and the card they call from the top of their deck was a, uh, a Alden. And Alden has an off play skill. I'll eat this. Oh, God. Man, we're so far ahead too. 
We were so, so far ahead. Yeah. Would have been nice to hit a defensive there. <sighs> yeah, we eat that too. I mean, I guess we could just eat both. Ew. Yeah, that's a bit too much damage. Sucks. I wanted to preserve. I wanted to preserve something in terms of guard value for next turn, but... Inlet. Okay, that's pretty big. Using the skill of Gramphia Baby. So let's see. So blast. Kinda cool. cool. I'm a little sad, actually, because we could have saved this for next turn. Not another thing about it. It is what it is. Ah, uh, we could save that for next turn, actually. Unit to give power to? Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, so 13, 13, 26, 26, and then huge, and then re it for huge. <laughs> Gotta call him the huge in his deck though, Jesus. The Dantha is the one who should have moved to the front row, though. Yeah, we're probably gonna need to discard five. Oh, that's really good. That's a good top deck. I won't have to worry about where I get my extra tokens from. And we force them to use PG here. Or at least a lot. Nope. Uh, reactivate. Some of these PG here, at least. We're probably gonna have to do the same thing next turn anyway, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, they discarded Alden here? I guess the hand has another Alden, possibly. Inlet? 
allows us to draw a card by putting itself in the soul. Let's see what we draw. Ritu? OT? Mm. I mean, it is shield value. That's not bad. Sometimes you gotta take, you gotta roll with punches. This is not as bad as I thought it should have been. They get to draw a card by revealing everything. So we got two tokens from this. So let's see, we got two tokens from this. Uh, we get one from this. I'm here trying to count out like how many tokens we can get from where. Yo, Emilio, what's up? This set is looking pretty hype. What's my thoughts on it so far? I actually really, really like the set. Guys, would you actually watch a YouTube video where I... Would you guys watch YouTube videos, period, on my YouTube channel if I were to post uh, car reviews of the week or weekly reviews of cars? Do you guys care about any of that type of stuff? Because I realize you guys tend to ask, like, my thoughts and opinions on, like, what I think about some of the cars for the set. If I remember correctly, okay, I thought I saw a grade 3. I was like, didn't they drive a grade 3 just now? It's 35. So 38. Like a weekly review of new stuff that dropped? You would watch that. Yeah, like a weekly review. So like, of all the cards that I got compiled to, I'll do a, like, a review maybe on Friday or something of all the cards that got released the week, during the week. Or like a weekly news thing. Um, feels like an oval guard though. Feels like a feels like a huge oval guard. I wish this was another 50k shield. But I do think some of the cards can have issues in in being able to be found on time though. Because you're super reliant, right? Because you're super reliant on. Not the worst. So Diantha moves up. This moves up. Oof. So blast this. Confirm. Also, <laughs> can't wait for set 10 to arrive in Deer. It is same here, same here. For what I understand, they're gonna be arriving next month. Yeah, okay, so we actually ended up making our board a little bit weaker, I know. <laughs> this is where they should have been, but I prioritized these guys a little bit more for me at the moment. So I felt like Diantha was a better frontliner.
Oh. <sighs> Sucks. <laughs> yeah, so we're attacking 31. We have a lot of we have a lot of shield. And yeah, 23 would have only made it 15. Vanguard's a lot higher, so they actually have to PG this. Because we have the mass set in. No guard. No guard at all, right? I guess they're the mindset like if I hit it, I hit it, right? So I guess that's fair. I get power here. Took a risk on that, I feel. Like a very huge risk. That's <laughs> thirty one, and the other one's forty eight. Really? Is that only grade three is in a hand? No way. Oh my god. Yeah, that was well met, man. Okay. Looks like our opponent just just didn't have it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> in my search. What do you mean the deck runs nothing but three grade threes but have <laughs> if I didn't have shield? No way. Hey, 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 don't get snarky with me. They got grade threes in there that shield. What do you mean? <laughs> they might have had not enough shield. That's a difference. But they definitely should have had enough shield though. At least from the drive checks that I remember. Like four. <laughs> they feel like a rock person. Ooh. Oh. Our hands are mega keepable, by the way. This deck is uh, this deck is kind of spooky. With Sophie Bella's out, yes, Sophie is in the game. We have Sophie. We have Sam, and I think Reka was already in around the same time as Youthberg came out. But we have, uh, and we have the the Gen Griffin Gila guy. I thought it was delayed. Yeah, they were released recently. So what are we discarding? Uh, discard this. I get two tokens anyway. I get I get two tokens anyway. Yeah, that's enough. This feels too free. I wonder if you can make a Gramphia Neo Nectar deck. You should be able to, right? Chad Sam? Yes, Chad Sam. It feels so free. 
I mean, yeah, it literally is free, but still, dude. Okay, we're against Mahar Nirvana. So this deck doesn't really have a whole lot of uh, retire in its kit, but it can. If it plays the Great Two Verena in the lineup. And that can Soul Blast 2 to retire something in our board. But we have enough of our token generation already in our hand. In on the board. So we don't have to really worry about too much about it. Yo, Scarlet, no idea what's going on, but you got this. Oh my god, Scarlet VG. One of our old... One of our old colleagues. Just hovering. Just doing their thing again. We're playing some Vanguard Dare Days. This is the Overdress format. This is standard. This is close to paper. This is my bread and butter. You're in my house now. <laughs> I doubt they'll run it. They run one. Some builds, some of the good competitive builds of uh, of Mahar tends to run like one Verena. Wait, it seems that they're running like a prayer engine of some kind. Okay. So they're running Yeva and Mahar in their list? Interesting. Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll eat here. I'm, I shouldn't... You shouldn't eat here, by the way. Like, we should have guarded, but... Yahoo got your ball, show me the way. My man is cooking, yeah. It seems to be like an amalgamation of like... I'll take a look at that drop zone. It seems like it's Yeva mixed with Mahar. Which isn't incorrect because it... I think this only needs a um, a card with Nirvana in the name to Soul Blast anyway, right? I need to discard a card. I'll discard... Oh, this generates two tokens, though. That generates two tokens. Uh, damn. It's a tough one. I'll still do it. Thoughts on Youth Kun? Youth is like, homie. We don't need to commit anything else. We're getting free tokens anyway. So our board is just gonna look like this for a couple of turns. We're actually gonna have to overcall some cards. We at least are gonna get... We're going. We don't draw a card yet. We draw a card next turn. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, Nirvana is his name, so it works with Yeva. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't not activate these. Sadly enough, I have to activate them. Calls over tokens. I can't turn them off. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll go 13 first. 13, 15, 13. So in case they get like an offensive trigger, we only need to hit like one rear guard. Ah, oh, nice. Good, good, good. So now they'll probably eat this. I could also attack with this too. Which forces out a little bit of extra shield. Actually, I'll do that. I will do that. Because if we get a defensive trigger, I need to. It's going to be a one to pass anyway, right? So. This is one of the rare instances where. Nice. Oh, this is really good. Because even if we had gotten a trigger, this would have been 23. That would have been 25. It's still enough to guard. If they guard us here again. For a one to pass, that's up to them. But it's risky. You shouldn't do that. No god. Yep. Ooh, that's really nice. So we also have a persona right for next turn. So all we're missing now is the inlet pulse. Sick. Good. More of those gone, the better. <laughs> we have to guard there next turn too. But that's gonna be a little bit spicy. Again, I I think we shouldn't have guarded the first attack. But it's fine. Let's 
There's Guardian Mahar here to go into Yeva. Such a weird. So they are playing Yeva. So weird. <laughs> So they didn't find any prayer dragons. They're moving up. So going into arcs. Kind of blast to draw a card. I would kind of blast the Mahar here. So I need to click on it to read how many Mahars are out of the deck. Like I know there's two, but sometimes players can have out of sight and out of mind moments where they see two to three CB phase down. And they don't actively click the C button to see what the card was that's actually phased down. Uh, we made us a two to pass. Again, we don't want to take too much damage here. If they're going to ride into Mahar next turn, one limited damage that we take. Yeah, so they have Mahar for next turn. I'm possibly going to guard again. Yeah, I'm going to guard again. Definitely. It's a bit of an overguard, but we don't have... Uh, we don't have any of our draw triggers. Wait, I might want to... Let me think about this. I was thinking whether or not I want to call any of these back with Diantha. Or if I want to draw two, draw two cards off of this. I think I want to draw two cards off of this. <laughs> eh, it is what it is. <laughs> Using the skill of the grade 2, since I have token and the grade 1 on board. Uh, then we're going to use the ability the Soul Blast a starter. Create one of these. Then, what's in our drop zone? We can call shrooms out. There are shrooms in our hand already. Mm, I see where we. I see the mistake that we made here. But that's fine. Cause a token, which gives a charge counter to this. The five kick should have gone to this thing, because they would have restood with five k extra. Uh, but we do get to call this, and use this skill. So blast this. We call two more tokens. Puts this on eight. Um. Let me see. If we do four, that's twenty. It's twenty k. It's twenty eight. If we do twenty on this, that's thirty. Three skills will trigger. And we got to draw two cards off of this. Draw trigger, unfortunate. But a stun kiss shield at least is better than nothing. Nice. Persona right for the following turn. It's going to be restarting with 33k power. So even if they get a defensive trigger, this one still hits. Mm. 
We at least want them to use 15k shield for both of your attacks. None whatsoever. That's a tough turn. Alright. Uh, then we go to the gauge. Unequip. This much. Then we choose this grade 1 to restand. Get 25k extra power. And both columns are 33. So now we have to guard with uh, 25... We have the guard. The guard with 25k extra shield here. So at least that's two cards to guard from their hand. And then next turn. Is there anything we want to pick up from our drop zone with Diantha next turn? Or do have an OT in hand? Tough. That's super tough. All right, and we end our turn with seven cards in hand. <laughs> yep, they go into Mahar here. They get to shoot us a damage though. Yep, kind of last one. Get rid of Yeva. Call out Trickstar. No. Actually, that's fine. <laughs> I just realized I have two personas in my head. So we get three, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five. We got five tokens for next turn. And we could do it again. So we don't really need to do Diantha next turn. Our board is not really getting retired right now. They get an Esperidia. Oh, that's the card that they had in their hand. So they actually do have an Esperidia here. They have three souls, so they can get a double restand. Mm, we should have enough shield to guard with. Since OT is gone from them. Oh, they're just filtering their deck out so they can try to hit trigger this turn. It's actually really good for them. Yeah. It gives them a lot more power. Yep. <laughs> All of their original dress. Uh. Yeah, I think I just no guard this really. This doesn't have any original dress, so that can't get any bigger. Yeah, I could just like no guard both, I think. Or I can, I can guard this. Yeah, guard this. PG Vanguard. Yeah, so this is 10k shield. Actually, we don't need to PG Vanguard. Yeah, this is going to restyle with an unsurmountable amount of power. They do have triple drive as well. So let me think about this here. Yeah, so this is going to get a bunch of power. So let's see. 43. To the past is 43. 43 is 2 to pass, eh? I was trying to think about like how. 
Oh dear gosh. No triggers whatsoever. That's tough. We have 13 seconds to guard though. Are you attacking with homie? They're thinking about how to attack here. This is to the wire. We have 13 seconds left. Are we gonna be able to guard for enough? I mean, we can guard this turn. <laughs> we can definitely guard this turn. Yeah, she gone. Goodbye. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah, take it. You're fine. <laughs> that's that's definitely yeah, okay. Yep. No guard. <laughs> you can take that. All right, our turn. Okay, not bad, not bad. I could revive one back, correct. Call this back. around here now we get to draw one card at least from one of them and I get to draw a card off of this uh, yeah I'll draw a card off of this <laughs> uh, that'd be 33. Uh, I'll swing first for 28. Nope. Un unfortunate. Yeah, because then we would swing with uh, 83... 83k Gramphia. Please. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> GG's. Yo, Kote. GG's, man. GG's. It was a really fun game. Uh, I noticed that you were playing... Uh, you were cooking with something, though. You were cooking. I like it. What's the What's the idea behind it? Are you Are you playing towards the uh, Grade 4 Varinas? Are you actually trying to make the... Ma the uh, Yava work. Because I like the idea, that's for sure.